day, YouTubers, friends, and family from across the world. This is Mike with Morning Dew Daily Events Worldwide. And we are on September 26th, 2018. Welcome to another surviving day on this planet. So we're going to start off looking at the sun. Southern Hemisphere, pretty quiet. But the Northern Hemisphere, well, it's actually reversed. So, yeah, our Southern Hemisphere on the sun... Quite a huge filament eruption. Northwest limb there. Watch this. Coming up on the left side. Wow. That was huge. Huge filament eruption. Now, part of that filament eruption, I'm sure, will be on its way towards Earth. Because that is incoming. Look at that. Huge. Probably fit 10 Earths in there. So, over the last 24 hours, a lot of updates here for volcanoes around the world and also areas of interest reforming, like Tropical Storm Kirk. We've got Rosa spinning. The largest earthquake as of late is that 5.0. But yeah, 10 volcanoes being updated just in the past 10 hours. Four of them here just in the past one hour. So stay aware and prepared as volcanoes are really starting to become active. Krakatoa is a huge one to worry about. Going through the Pacific Disaster Center here, showing Hurricane Rosa. Tropical Storm Kirk, and of course, Typhoon Trammy. It was still a Category 3 Typhoon. Show you exactly where it's going to be going. And we also have Tropical Depression 29. That's right, number 29 Tropical Depression for the West Pacific. Pretty busy end of these hurricane seasons. Overlooking images of Typhoon Trammy here. You can see inner eye wall is building and gaining some strength and as well as picking up some moisture as it is projected to turn into another category three as it heads towards Japan. We'll get more into that in a moment. Tropical Storm Kirk, who has reformed could possibly be a very dangerous storm for Barbados, Dominican Republic, parts of Trinidad as it heads west. It looks like it will be building into a category two or three. Projected forecast says tropical storm. We shall see. Tropical storm Kirk, we're gonna go over to Rosa here. Now Rosa, yesterday, I thought that maybe the high pressure ridge in front, just north of it, would stop it from moving north. But now that high pressure ridge has disappeared and there is a low pressure developing on the west side of North America, most likely going to pull Rosa north towards uh, southwestern United States. Also looking at this area of interest, this is the one that was blown up by our government. And yeah, heading northeast, mass amounts of moisture across the United States, atmospheric river event happening all across the southeastern side of the United States. Looking at the total precipital water map, see the long lines of moisture. We've, we're talking about this last year, atmospheric rivers. Just huge lines of moisture covering thousands of miles across our oceans and even continents. But you can see the long lines, they're happening everywhere all around the world. Northern Hemisphere, Southern Hemisphere. This is something new over the past decade. Seven day visible here over North America. High pressure ridge leaving the area. High pressure ridge coming from the north bringing a lot of cold temps, 
cooling things off straight across North America. Very active area. Five day forecast here. Let's look at weather, of course. Morning dew, daily events worldwide. And we're looking at some cold temps and snow coming to parts of Alberta later in the week. A rain event coming in a few days could possibly be snow depending on how strong that cold high pressure ridge is coming from the north. Still watching those th areas of interest in the Pacific Ocean developing large lows. And here is the path of Hurricane Rosa projected forecast. So there's that high pressure ridge I was talking about and then the newly developed low pressure on the west side of the United States. And then yeah, extreme weather event coming towards Japan yet again. I've been warning about it all week. And I thought it was going to go to Taiwan. A lot of forecasters did. It's heading north now as it's gaining strength through category three heading towards Japan. Another area of interest here developing typhoon and then another one just underneath Hawaii here heading west along the equator. So stay aware and prepared. The Philippines, Japan, Taiwan, Taiwan is most likely will get grazed by this storm. Here is the path of Tropical Storm Kirk. You can see center of the low going straight over Barbados and then heading into the Dominican. And then we have Tropical Storm Leslie, Subtropical Storm Leslie, who doesn't want to leave the Atlantic Ocean, is quite comfortable where she is, I guess. We'll see what happens to her over the coming days. Still watching very vigorous situation happening in South America as well. A lot of wind and rain events day after day. As these low pressure systems come from the Southern Hemisphere. And then area of interest here over Papua New Guinea. Or sorry, over uh, Indonesia. Let's get to the last seven days for earthquakes. A lot of deep earthquakes for the last seven days, but it hasn't been as busy as it has been. Things have quieted down a bit. And here we are, this is the last 12 hours for earthquakes. Forecasted area here in Alaska, as I expected an uptick in earthquakes in this area due to the large low pressure systems that are spinning on the Aleutian Islands. Thank you for watching today. This has been Mike with Morning Dew Daily Events Worldwide. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun and get your morning dew. Don't forget to hit that bell. Hit that like button. Love you guys. If you Bye -bye. enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button. Subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world. Thank you.